This sports broadcast made possible by contributions from the following. The Bear Family McDonald's, proud supporters of our community since 1967. Stop by one of their 30 area McDonald's restaurants today. Rosen Hyundai of Algonquin and Genesis of Algonquin. Looking for a brand new Hyundai or certified pre-owned? It's Rosen Express online buying made simple. Go to RosenHyundai.com or GenesisOfElgonquin.com. Tom the Plumber, service and installations of the highest quality and craftsmanship. Tom the Plumber, honest and affordable. Visit Tom online at TomThePlumberInc.com. And Daryl Barnes Photography, for portraits, family and graduation photos, sports team photos, and more. Contact Daryl Barnes Photography at DarylBarnes.com. From Harry D. Jacobs High School in Algonquin, Illinois, South Elgin High School's Beacon Academy brings you the second game of the 2021 Hinkle Holiday Classic Tournament. I'm Beacon student Lucian Nolan, joined by Elgin Academy uh, coach Rick Williams for the second game between the Loyola Academy Ramblers and the Grant Community Bulldogs. Loyola Academy has currently been winning most of the games, uh, most of the December games, uh, while Grant Community has lost all their uh, December games so far with their latest game being a 66 to 34 loss against the Palatine Pirates, but let's see what they can do today. Yeah, so we're looking forward to bringing you to the second game. Lucian, looking forward to working with you again. Uh, yeah. we've got ourselves in our nice natural roles. I'll do some play-by-play, -play, walk you guys through the game, and then we'll uh, have Lucian on cover. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In case you're wondering, I started out in the first half of last game doing play-by-play. -play. It wasn't for me. So we switched. Looking for... Looking for the roster. All right, this game is underway. Ball controlled by Lola. Lola. Nice star pass over the top. And first three-pointer made by... That is a splash. Number 25, Alex Ingram. Dive on the floor. Drop Strong and defensive slide. Defensive by Loyola to start this game. <laughs> that shot no good. Picked up by Grant. Controlled in the front court by number four, Raylan Gray. Over to number 30, Mikkel. Sabitra. It's on the fourth. Kel Braid to the inside, just off. Nice rebound by number 11. Trying to go home, but he turns it over. Current scores loyal of three, Grant Community zero. But that is subject to change. Loyal controls, nice back cut. Cutting through. Or ball control at the top by Loyola. Number 21, Connor Casper over. So pretty good possession. They move the ball quite a bit, but it ends in a turnover. Grant has the ball. Let's see if they can't get on the board. As we start off this game, 3-0. Just under six minutes left to go in the first quarter. Kel finds Grant leading scorer Chad Keeskin. He takes it inside, just misses off the rim. Chad Keeskin, the one to watch for Grant. He's their best player by far, junior. Let's see if he can't keep them in this ball game against the much tougher Loyola squad. As a foul is drawn 
on the inside by number 10, Shane Target. Let's see what Loyola can do in this. Foul on Mikel Sabidra, his first. And the first basket is good. Checking out of the game is for Loyola, number 21, Connor Casper. He's replaced by number two, Max Garcia. Easy basket. Both free throws good by number 10. Grant up top. Cutting through, handoffs. Kel up from the corner, no good. Hustled down by number 25, Alex Ingro. Good ball movement here. Passing and cutting, the number one way to score in high school basketball in 2021. Loyola doing a good job of that. Just misses the layup easy. Layup there missed by number two. Chad controlling up top. Three-point shot by Chad Keesman just off. No good. He's 0 for 3 to start the ball game. See if he can't get going. Good pass and cut, Max Garcia for three. Splash. Quick eight point, eight to nothing run to start the game for Loyola. Let's see if Grant can respond here as Chad handles up top, finds a good cutter coming down the middle of the court. Nice star pass over to Bray, Braylon. Another extra pass. I didn't think he would get that. We've got a foul on a three-point shot. Foul number 11. That's Miles Bolin with the foul. Going to the line for three shots is number 10, K. Carter, Carter K. This timeout is sponsored by Daryl Barnes Photography for portraits, family and graduation photos, sports team photos, and more. Contact Daryl Barnes Photography at DarylBarnes.com. The great Daryl Barnes. Bolt. So, Grant, five minutes in this game, has not cracked the scoreboard. It's eight to zero. What do we got to do to get a basket here, Lucian? I, again, I honestly don't know. Uh, well, let's let's get uh, let's go. Let's be one game better than we were last game. So oh, yeah. you watch, you watch yeah. the last game. You're watching basketball. You're learning from the game as you go. Yeah. What do you think? What's a, what's a good way to try to score the basket uh, when you haven't scored yet? Um. Well, obviously, like I said, try to create a plan uh, with your team, uh, like in these timeouts, uh, to just try to talk to your teammates, uh, maybe even substitute. Uh, if at all possible, um, and see what happens from there. Sure. Uh, aside from just uh, tr uh, trying your best, I think that's uh, the best thing that you can do. Yeah, head coach Wayne Bosworth talking to his guys. Hopefully we can crack the scoreboard here with three free throws coming up here for number 10, Carter K. There it is, our first basket of the ball game. For the Grant Bulldogs. Yeah, I was about to specify for the for Grant. Let's see if they can get a second one. And they do. Almost a splash, but not quite. But nonetheless, they got it in. 
You're a harsh critic on your splash. It's got to be all net to get a splash yeah. call from you. All right. All right. Well, if it touches that. the rim, then it's not a splash. <laughs> and that one was a splash. Okay, I like it. Eight to three as we come back the second half of the first quarter. Nice cutting action here by Loyola. Ends in a three-point shot by number 25. Off to the right. Rebounded by Carter Kane. Rubbing over to Mikkel. Mikkel handles up top. Back to the corner to Braylon. Up top to Chad Keatskin. He looks for the screen. Braylon probing, looking. Mikkel with a nice crossover. Rambler switching everything up top, really forcing some difficulty for Grant as it's turned over by number 11. Randall Holm passed a little too hot to handle for Carter K. As you can see right away, uh, Loyola's action, their movement has more it has more execution to it. They've got a plan to the way they play. Each pass has a little bit more pop to it, a lot more reversals per possession. That's going to result in better basketball. I don't care what the talent level is, and that's reflecting in the scoreboard here, eight to three. Nice spin move out of the triple threat by number 25. Finds his wide open teammate, Shane Tarjan, but he's off. Chad with a nice rotation on that three pointer we've come to know over the years, but he can't get one to go. He's 0 for 4 from the field to start the ball game. Extra pass, and they caught Mikel on the reach from behind. That's a foul on Mikel Savidra. That's his second foul. Baseline out of bounds play. He finds number 21 open in the left corner. Nice play. Nice closeout by number 31. The current score is Loyal 8, Grant Community 3 with 1 minute and 15 seconds on the clock here in the first quarter. Bobby Gray with a good defense there. Forces the turnover in the corner. No field goals on the game yet so far for Grant. Let's see if they can't get a field goal bucket here as they find... Chad in the corner, doesn't shoot it. Little high-low action there. Nice big move up top, and there we go. Our first field goal of the game it. by Bobby Gray. That was a bank shot, not a splash. Nice drop step in the middle of the key. Low scoring first quarter coming to an end here. 36 seconds left, eight to five. The team with the ball's in control. Three-point lead. Less than 30 seconds now. They are not in a hurry here. They're going to go ahead and look for one shot. Both head coaches seem content with that. We're just under 20 seconds. Thought for a moment that they were that Loyola was just working and securing the ball. Oh. So that's the way the first quarter ends, eight to five, in favor of Loyola. They got the shot that they wanted at the end, uh, but they couldn't make it. And, uh, so appreciate you guys sticking with us for the first quarter. We'll be right back after a word from one of our sponsors.
And welcome back, uh, everyone, to the Hinkle Holiday Classic. This game against Loyola and Grant Community. Loyola is currently leading uh, eight to five, uh, and we are now in the second quarter. I'm again. I'm speaking to Lucian Nolan, along with uh, Elgin Academy coach Rick Williams, for the uh, announcing for this game. And Rick, uh, how has it has, how has it been so far? Uh, this game. Yeah, I think it's been a good game. Uh, it's low scoring. Neither team really uh, shooting the lights out right away. You can you take in consideration the first quarter of the last game was 20 to 12, but uh, you know, eight to five ball game, but we're, both teams are in it. And uh, again, a lot more execution com coming from Loyola, producing better shots. Uh, Grant's got to move this ball a little better, see if they can't get some good looks for their better players. Let's see what Grant can do. Nice over the top pass, and it's finished inside by the big man in the middle, Randall Holm. 8 7, Grant finds himself back in the ball game as Loyola controls at the top. Dribble penetration. Gets his own rebound, finds it inside, and puts it back in. Alex Ingro. Junior guard. He's been really active in this game. He's got five of the ten points for Loyola as we I haven't I haven't seen I haven't seen that many splashes in this game compared to the last one. But that's probably just because there haven't been that many scores. There haven't been as many scores. This timeout. This timeout is sponsored by our season sponsor, Bear Family McDonald's. Uh, uh, proud supporters of our community since 1967. Stop by one of the 30 area restaurants today. Every time I see that graphic come up, I get hungry. Start thinking about uh, maybe going to get some lunch when I'm done here. What do you think? Yeah. Well, it's 447. <laughs> so I, I think that would be dinner by that time. You got a good point. Lunch, dinner, breakfast. Go see Bear Family McDonald's. That's the <laughs> moral of the story. Grant Bulldogs control the pace up top. Pressure coming from over here, looking to trap the corners. Grant handles the first one okay. I'd like to see them go back to that high-low action they found earlier. Good no call there by referees foot get tam tangled up. Back cut. Good wall defense by Loyola. Connor Gas Casper coming over. Chad Keesing gets into the basket strong. As he breaks the seal on the board and Grant hanging in there. 9-10. As they find themselves right in this ball game. Loyola holding up top. This continuity action by Loyola, really difficult to guard. You gotta be found sound fundamentally, and Grant doing a good job with it as they force the turnover here. Finds number four wide open in the corner, can't make the three, but a good look there for Braylon. Going to the line is number five, Oliver Bishop, as he Catches the defender up in the air. That foul was on Randall Holm. His first and the team's third. No good. Can't convert the first of the two. Second one is up and good. Second one is flash. By Oliver Bishop. Nice dribble, chenner, bit of dribble penetration by Braylon, but unable to make it.
penetration by Chad. Looking to probe. Another more good help defense coming from Loyola, but inside finish Thanks, shot. by Bobby Gray. Assist to Chad Keatskin, and we have ourselves a tie ball game at 11. Five minute mark of the second quarter. Cut score is Loyola 11, Grant 11. Five in the second quarter. That three-pointer up and no good. Good look for number 11. Couldn't make it. Rebounded by the guard. Braylon in the front court. Over to Chad Keats getting on the road, right. Loyola bench trying to provide some energy for the team. Chance of defense coming from the bench. Braylon able to get inside, get himself fouled. I think they're calling it on the ground when we're taking this out. That foul is on number 25, Alex Ingro. You know, one of my favorite things about coming to these games is getting a chance to see players that I don't see in our schedule at Elgin Academy. And it's always fun oh, for yeah. me to watch, you know, and within a first a quarter or so, you can kind of tell you know, who is the key people of each team yeah. and who stands out with the way they play. Yeah. I've, I've been really impressed with uh, number 25, Alex Ingro, in case as, as uh, that basket's up and good. In case, you don't, uh, in case you don't know, what he's talking about is that uh, Elgin Academy is a private school and they don't really play um, the exactly the same teams as like public schools do. So um, that's uh, what he's talking about. He's excited to see plays he doesn't usually see. That's correct. And right on cue, Alex Ingro with the basket inside. He's been the standout player here for Loyola. He has seven points to lead all score. Nice penetration here. Chad Keatskin gets to the rim. Finishes inside. His second field goal of the game. He's got four. And the Grant Bulldogs have a two-point lead. Alex thought about shooting that, decides against it, and keeps the possession going as we move this ball side to side with efficiency by Loyola. Ball in the corner. And this is a wide open shot. Just off the front of the rim. Strong rebound inside by Garcia. So we have our first mask break here of the second quarter. This is the way IHSA keeps everybody safe during the pandemic as we look to compete and give some kids some experience, but keep everyone healthy at the same time. Oh, is this based on the 15 minute um, uh, uh, point of like transmission uh, of, vi of the virus? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, it's just, it's a mask break designed to help us with the fatigue of playing with a mask on. It's not so much about the 15 minute contact rule, it's more about the fatigue of, oh, okay. of playing with a mask on and giving the ch kids a chance to breathe and get themselves together. But I can tell you, Lucian, if you don't mind, uh, as a coach, it's just really an extra time out, an extra opportunity to get your kids um, in the right spaces uh, to, to go out there and compete. Yeah, that makes sense. This timeout is sponsored by Joe Bonds Photography for portraits, family, and graduation photos, sports team photos, and more. Contact Daryl Bonds Photography at DarylBonds.com or call the number on the screen. Just to remind everyone, the current score is uh, Loyola 13, Grant 15. Uh, as you know, Loyola was leading at first, but now Grant has bounced back, and so, um, again, you never know what can happen. Bounded by Loyola as they trail this game by two. Doing a good job.
job. Controlling the tempo up top. They could get back within the uh, same quarter before halftime. Well, definitely one possession game is not something that you would feel out of, right? I mean, any any uh, basket here would be a tie game. A three-pointer would give them the lead. No call there on the traveling violation as uh, Alex finds his way to the floor. Coach, Coach Tom not liking the call there. He's looking for a foul, but uh, you'd like to see that. Good communication between the referees and the coaches as we move forward in these games. Nice back cut. Bunny missed inside by Number 20, James Otis, off the nice back cut. Alex Ingram up top, finds Garcia on the right wing. As they work the two-man game. Side to side action, and then the big star pass this is how they started the game. They made that one big offensive rebound Thanks. and put back in by Connor Gasper. That was a bank shot. Excuse me, that's Connor Casper. As he ties the game up in a aggressive manner. Tied 15 15. Kel inside, he gets the good look, but can't get it to drop. As he goes for the jump ball, he's able to get it. Shout out to uh, a couple of other former AGB players uh, in this game. What does AGB stand for? Again? AGB stands for always get better. That's what basketball is all about at the young age. And, and who are the players that you're giving a shout out uh, to? So we've got uh, Chad Keatskin from this game. We've got uh, uh, Mikel Savidra from this game. Uh, you know, so a couple guys from the Grant team that played with us during their youth years in middle school, we're proud of them. We're happy to see them out here playing some basketball. As that three-point shot gives Loyola the three-point lead, hit by Miles Bowling. 34 seconds, Grant trying to do their best uh, delay impression as Mikel finds a nice crossover inside, gets the good look. Again, can't finish it. So now Loyola will look to hold for one shot with 15 seconds left in the second quarter. Well, miscommunication on the switch leaves Alex straight to the rim. And that, and that concludes the second quarter. That Perfect. will give. Grant, the five-point lead going into halftime, uh, 20 to 15 uh, for Loyola over Grant. So what did you think about that first half, Lucian? What did you think? Um, it was great. I mean, there was more, um, more action than the first, uh, definitely. Uh, and it shows how, um, like I said, it could go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and you never know who could win. Have you, have you started to focus on individuals? Is there any individual Not, player that's standing no, out to you? Un unfortunately, no. I, I just, um, I have been just focusing on the team as a whole uh, instead of the uh, players individually. Um, that is something that I'll have to work on. But Yeah, as uh, a play-by-play, -play, what you want to do is make sure that you're yeah. talking to <laughs> the people about about the, the people that stand out to you, anything that stands out to you from the players, from the coaches, from anything so you know as the game goes on i want you to have fun with that and enjoy yeah. learning as we go but I, we I appreciate you guys being with us today yeah i probably won't be doing play by play for a long time but uh, uh but let's see how i do for color so. and that concludes the uh first half of the game um let's stay with us
Welcome back as we get ready for the second half of the second game uh, here at the Hinkle Tournament. Uh, so we've got a five-point lead by Loyola. Uh, Grant's coming out of the second half. What are you looking? What are your impressions of the first half, and what are you looking forward to seeing here in the second half, Lucian? Well, uh, what I've noticed is although I think uh, Grant has led um, uh, in certain parts of the game, uh, Loyola uh, has uh, had a, a higher lead. Uh, has led uh, for longer. And so I think that that's uh, something that Grant is going to have to worry about. Um, and that's uh, pretty much it so far. But So we've got a minute before the action kicks off. I want you to talk to me a little bit about your experience at, at South Elgin Beacon Academy. What What is it that you're learning through this process? So How much do you appreciate the, basically, getting to do uh, this? The way that Boz puts it, uh, put it once is uh, it's basically film, radio, and television. Um, as, um, put it simply broadcasting uh, and videography and so we um, that's what's worked into the curriculum so we do um, uh, our most recent project was um, to recreate a movie using uh, a zero dollar budget um, and then um, and then we also do news broadcasts with similar equipment to what we uh, use to um, uh, to what we use for these broadcasts as well and so like the equipment is very similar so uh, is uh, centered around that, and not every Beacon student um, goes uh, to college for uh, with a, uh, this career path in mind. Not everyone does, but it does give that a lot of that opportunity to uh, get used to this equipment, uh, um, and that is uh, what I'm doing right now. Yeah, I, I, I agree with you, which I think is a phenomenal opportunity that they provide. Uh, you know, I, I studied communications in college, but it wasn't until college where I was even given the opportunity to do these things. So the fact that you're able to do this in high school is an awesome, awesome thing. And it is my pleasure to be here with you uh, and during this learning process and getting to watch some basketball and talk some hoops in the process. So let's have some fun here in the second half. Second half underway as Grant controls the ball. Down five, they look for the backdoor cut. It's not there. And they reset up top to Mikel and look to get into their continuity. Raylan up top, looking to probe, see what he can find. Finds Chad on the, on the wing. We'll get into the two-man game at the top. A little bit of a fumble there. Timeout call by Coach Wayne Bosworth to get Chad out of the jam there. Yeah, 30-second timeout taken by Grant. There as Chad hit the ground. Coach didn't want to have a turnover there. It'll be Grant Ball coming in, still down five. Um, looks like they're having a hard time breaking the defensive pressure of Loyola. Uh, Lucian, I know you're not a big basketball guy. Yeah. You don't you don't watch a ton of it, but what you're looking for when um, whenever someone's pressuring you, you just want to set some screens and try to get some things downhill. Uh, let's see if Grant's able to do that. Got our score correct there on the screen for you guys. It is 20 to 15, Loyola up by five here in the beginning of the second half. Grant in control of the ball. Braylon with a nice drive, gets an attack with that wall. That defensive wall has been there all night for Loyola. And a block there by, I believe that was number 11, Miles Bolin. Finds Chad in a corner for three, falling away, not able to put it in. An offensive rebound denied and picked up by Alex Ingro. Ingro. Ingro diving out of bounds and not able to save it. That ball going out of bounds. Good sportsmanship showed there by the humanitarian that is Chad Keatskin. Controlled up top by Mikel. 
Grant having a hard time with the reversals. Another five-second violation. There's just too much dribbling happening up the court for the uh, for the Grant Bulldogs. Yeah. Lucian, are you able to see? I'm, I'm going to ask you an honest question. When you're watching this game, are you able to see the difference in the styles? You see how many passes uh, the white team has per possession? Two, three, you know, four, you know, versus where Grant is kind of dribbling that ball out. Are you able to see that? Oh, yeah. Now, now that you mention it, it does make a lot of sense. Yeah, so as you grow as you grow up in your sports commentary, I want you to start watching the, the oh style gosh, of plays. Right. Uh, but, you know, we're, we're dribbling the ball on one hand, we're passing and cutting on the other hand, and a nice layup there by number 10, uh, Shane Tarjan, at the result of just good ball movement. In a, in a good way, I will not be able to unsee that. <laughs> that, that, that. No, that's a good thing. A lot of times we say, oh, I, I wish I could unsee that when it's a negative thing, but this is actually a positive. I w can't unsee that. That's a great way of thinking about learning. See some things that you can't unsee. You can apply them on tests and in life and all that kind of stuff. You see, you see the timing between each pass? One, and two, and three, and four, and five, six yeah. dribbles. It's just a different style of play, and it's harder to score this way when the ball is stuck so long. Maybe that's why I suck at basketball and PE. <laughs> Too many steps called there by Alex Ingro. Really nice, aggressive slash to the rim. Referee didn't like it. Called him for three steps. That's a that's a that's a thing. As we get a foul call here, uh, or maybe that's uh, how Grant can redeem themselves is to maybe do less dribbling and more passing. Uh, but uh, obviously they will continue to do what they do. And so as we shoot these free throws here, I'm going to go on a little tangent here just for any any young players or any fans of the game who are listening. Go off. You know, what, what, what you notice there with that travel call is that a lot of us, a lot of young players are basically, you know, what's the number one basketball league in the world, Lucian? What, what do you know? Uh, I think it's the NBA. Yeah, I think that's correct, right? So we watch the NBA and we see these phenomenal players doing phenomenal things. And then we mimic, we try to mimic their moves oftentimes. We have trainers that are teaching young people how to do the things that the pros are doing. But what a lot of people fail to understand about pro basketball is that pro basketball, unlike high school basketball, is a massive business. It's a, it's a business. It's a multi-billion yeah. I mean, dollar business. That's what chooses like what which players are, are on which teams. Uh, and that can, uh, that makes a massive difference in the different combinations of people uh, that play basketball on each team. Yeah, but the point I'm making is that because it's a business, that the the way it's officiated is different. They don't want to they don't want to call you know big time stars for travel. So there's a lot more oh, um, yeah. freedom given to professional players that high school players are not afforded. So you'll see that oftentimes in high school basketball, where something that's not a travel in the pros is called a travel out here. Uh, a lot of fans will be frustrated by that, but we've got to just do better as coaches and trainers that and is teaching kids how to play fundamentally sound. That is another thing I will not unsee in a good way. Speaking of fundamentally sound, a strong take there by Bobby Gray. Uh, unable to make it go, but nice strong take. Another strong move here by Alex Ingro catches the defense off guard with this nice spin move. That foul's on Chad Keesgan. He has two personal fouls as he sends Garcia, Max Garcia, to the line for two. First of two is no good. 22-16. We are nearing the four-minute mark of this third quarter. Both free throws come short for Max Garcia. Grant with an opportunity to get back in the ball game here. Big possession. Up 
top. Nice pass outside. And a shot that falls by Bobby Gray. Almost didn't get in there. He's had a good ball game so far. Had a nice up, uh, up and under in the first half. And nice jump shot in the corner there in the second. Nice move. Good coverage defensively by number 20. Cutting. Cutting and swooshing to the rim, but just off the mark is number 11, Miles Bolin. Controlled in the front court now by Grant. Running this four out one in system, looking for backdoor cuts, looking for opportunities to drive. Bobby finds one, a little long off the glass. Three point shot off the mark, controlled by Grant. The Grant Bulldogs have not played their best basketball right now. They've missed a, couple, a few shots there. Uh, they're not doing a great job executing, but the good news is they're only down four points in this game. Mikel with a shuffling of the feet. Traveling call. On Grant, possession to Loyola. And we have our mass timeout here of the third period. So you looking forward to the holidays, Lucian? Yeah. This timeout is brought to you by our season sponsor, the Bear Family McDonald's, proud supporters of our community since 1967. Stop by one of the 30 area McDonald's restaurants today. Two minutes left to go in the third. Uh, it's been a low scoring game. Uh, here in the second game. I think this is um, close to what uh, the last game was like uh, in the first quarter, first half, I think. So not that much action, but uh, we'll see what um, they can do picking it up. Yeah, we had a uh, we had a good game in the first game, uh, controlled by uh, Stream would end up losing that game pretty handily. Uh, but this second game, much more competitive throughout. No one doesn't look like anyone's running away with this. Uh, Grant, it's, it's a winnable game. It's right there for Grant. It's a four-point game uh, as they come out on defense. High-low looking action. Max Garcia inside the 21 does not work. And controlled upside, up court by Oliver Bishop. Gets Chad up in the air. Nice corner pass. More passes per possession results in a good shot. Offensive rebounded by Miles Bolin. Once again, Loyola has been doing more passing while Grant has been doing more dribbling. There you go. That's it. Yeah, that's it. And, then, and it's resulting in good shots. Now, when when you play like that, you're going to get good shots. But after you get good shots, Lucian, what's the thing you need to do in order like, to win a basketball game? Play like what? The more dribbling or more? The uh, more passing. Like, okay. So they're passing and cutting, and they're getting a good shot like that. Yeah, you, but have, you have more chances for, um, uh, for different types of shots. Uh, however... Um, what do you still got to do to win a basketball yeah. game? However, with uh, dribbling more, you um, uh, don't have as many chances of uh, the other team catching it in the middle. Yeah, but it also the point is that if you get good shots, that's one part of it. But the other thing is you have to make them. 
you know? So if, if, if Loyola can make more shots here, they can run away with this. They're getting good shots. They're just not making enough of them to break away from Grant. Only down four as the fourth quarter looms near, coming in 36 seconds. Again, seeming comfortable with the time and score. Loyola in no rush, Grant in no rush to put pressure on them. We're gonna look for the last shot here. They seem to just be uh, counting down the clock instead, just stalling. Here, they're gonna go with the, what's called a yo play, where at the about the seven second mark, they're gonna go with a two-man game and look for the corner three. Max Garcia with the turnaround, it's short. And that'll do it for your third quarter. That concludes the third quarter. Uh, again, the score is Loyola 22, Grant 18. And now that is the beginning of the fourth quarter after this timeout. So 22-18 as we head to the fourth quarter. Grant is right here in the game. Before we get going with our fourth quarter, we have uh, another word from one of our sponsors. This timeout is sponsored by Rose and Hyundai of Algonquin and Genesis of Algonquin. If you're looking for a brand new certified pre uh, brand new or certified pre-owned, it's Rose and Express online buying made simple. Go to rosenhyundai.com and genesisofalgonquin.com. And once again, we thank all our sponsors for this because without them, it probably wouldn't have been possible or wouldn't have been as good as it uh, is right now. As we head to the fourth quarter, plenty more action coming your way, not only tonight, but as the tournament continues. Lots yeah. of basketball over the weekend. There's going to be a whole lot more. Yes. Uh, going to take three days off uh, after today and then come back on the um, 22nd, 23rd. Uh, and then three days, uh, another three-day break, and then the 27th and 28th. Uh, with all, all four of those are going to be all day, uh, whereas today's just been half. Of uh, the time that it usually is on the uh, other four days. Lots of good basketball coming your way in this Hinkle Holiday Classic. Got eyes on the great Ben Erickson as he exits the building. Erickson has left the building and gone to the truck. I don't know if you know this, but Ben and I go way back. We're old college, uh, college buddies, so we studied at the same university. It's nice to see him doing good things. Judson grads we are. Ball inbounded by the Ramblers of Loyola. They nurse a four-point lead in a very low-scoring game. Ball's been moving. Action's been happening, just the ball's just not going in a ton. As I say that, basket good by Miles Bowling, three-point shot. Big way to start the fourth quarter, it extends the lead to seven. Grant looking for an answer. Good pass inside, but tipped out of bounds. Nice back cut again. Oh, but the wall is under control as Max Garcia draws the charge. And that's exactly why you want to play that helpline strong for all you young high school players out there. You get to that helpline and you can really nullify a lot of good basketball. Uh, being ready to take the charge. Nice job there by Max Garcia. As Loyola now has the ball with seven, seven points more than what Grant has. 25-18, ball controlled by who I believe has been the best player in the game so far is Alex Agron as that's, that shot blocked by Braylon. Good pass, 
Gets tied up, no call. Then responds with a foul inside himself. That's Randall Holm on the foul. His second personal. It's been a while since Grant's had a basket. They're going to need some stops and some baskets to get back in this game. And yeah, they're going to. The turnover right there is a good start. See if they can't capitalize on it. Coming from somebody who knows barely anything about basketball, uh, I think that um, Grant should do less dribbling and more <laughs> uh, passing, but that's just my opinion. See, you're learning as you go, man. Always get better. That's what I said. Yeah. Nice, strong drive there by Braylon. So what you saw there is a difficult shot that went in. And so if you're going to play a dribble style of game against a good defense, you're going to get difficult shots. But that doesn't mean you can't win a ball game. You just have to make difficult shots. Uh, whereas the way Loyola plays, they're looking for easy shots, and then they just have to make their easy shots. Hasn't been a really high scoring game for either team, but it's a winnable game for both teams. And we've got a good offensive foul call there as number 11 slides his feet. Randall Holm beating Max Garcia to the spot. The referee saw the extended arm. That's a player control foul. We're going the other way. Had with the penetration, finds himself in trouble and gets called for the travel underneath. More action here by Loyola. Strong coaching coming from Coach Bosworth on the grand side as he tries to get back in this game. That score is Loyola 25 and Grant 20. 25 20, timeout call by Tom Libatino. Tom the Plumber Inc. is a family owned and operated company committed to providing plumbing service and installations of the highest quality and craftsmanship. Tom the Plumber, honest and affordable. Visit Tom online at TomThePlumberInc.com. And once again, we thank all of our sponsors for making this possible, uh, as well as the, um, our fellow uh, crew members here at the Beacon Academy, uh, down the truck and on the cameras. Uh, making this whole thing happen. Yeah, I've, been a, I've had the pleasure of being a part of this tournament for a few years now, and it seems to me that the, it's the, the sponsors come through every year. It's nice to see a relationship between the sponsors and the tournament. They're always yeah. willing to be, be here and help us put this on, help young people like yourself get a chance to, to learn your craft on the fly, uh, help you know old heads like myself get a chance to come and be a part of uh, high school basketball and talk some sports. It's, it's just a great a great way to kick off a holiday and uh, yeah. to have a lot of fun. Great way to spend my winter break. Now, uh, many people at Beacon probably won't agree with that, but uh, for me, I think it's a great way to spend it because I w probably would have been wouldn't have been doing anything else. <laughs> Handles up top, finds Max Garcia at the top. Strong handoff. Good defense here by Grant. Short on the three-pointer, but a strong offensive rebound again by number 21. That's a big shot. Connor Casper. 
He's had a couple of those in this ball game. When he goes to rebound, he really goes and gets it, You're puts it back in, and it's 27-20 now. Energy coming from the Grant team as they're trying to get back in this game. And this is about the time where it needs to happen if it's going to happen. Here, I'll simulate what they're doing. Doesn't sound the same on air. Alex Ingeron with the drive and the short finish. Rebounded by Grant. 27 23 minutes, 30 seconds left in this ball game. Looking for a good drive. There's Braylon to the rim again, just off the mark. Slide and down. Doesn't work. That ball goes out of bounds off of Grant. Possession to Loyola. This is your officials timeout, your mass timeout for the fourth quarter. So we're coming down to the end of this one. 27-20, low scoring ball game. Anybody's ball game, Lucian, what do you think about the end of this one? Uh, well, I mean, I, I still think that Grant has a chance. I mean, uh, only a seven point game. Uh, with three minutes and 21 seconds. Uh, although um, not likely, it's definitely possible. Um, they just got to uh, work on changing the way they do things, maybe change players or um, see uh, who has what position uh, and then work that out from there. Yeah. I'm looking for number 22, Chad Keeskin. He's their best player. Uh, his team is down seven. Uh, he hasn't shot the ball particularly well this game, but... This is the time to go down swinging, man. So I want to see him being more aggressive here. I expect him to be more aggressive here in the final three minutes. Dale Bonds Photography. Uh, or this timeout is sponsored by Dale Bonds Photography for portraits, family, graduation, photos, sports scene photos, and more. Contact Dale Bonds Photography at dalebonds.com or call the number on screen. Once again, this is the second game of the 2021 Hinkle Holiday Classic Tournament uh, against Loyola uh, Academy and Grant Community High School. Current score is Loyola 27 and Grant 20 in the fourth quarter with three minutes and 21 seconds on the clock. Twenty-seven twenty, three minutes, seventeen seconds left. Handoff action coming from Loyola. Call this the wheel. Good look for number eleven. Short. Rebounded by Grant. And here's their opportunity. We want to see a basket here. Get themselves back in the game. See what they do. Pass to the corner. This shot's going up, and good by Chad Keats getting right on time. As he brings his team back within four, 27-23. They're getting there. Well, maybe I spoke too soon. Trap action coming from Grant, handled well by Loyola. Controlled up top. This is when the area of the game where you're going to start seeing a lot of delay action. Grant's got to get aggressive after this ball, able to come up with a turnover as number 31 with the hustle play, Bobby Gray. He's had a couple of standout plays in this game. A basket here really changes the mood of this game. See what Grant can do. Work the two-man game at the top. They find the slashing cutter, but recovered nicely defensively less by than two Alex Ingro on the stop. Sorry, I interrupted you, but less than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Grant can try to redeem himself. Ayola in delay mode and Grant in urgency mode, looking to trap, be aggressive. No call there on the charge. A lot of passing by Loyola as we've. Um, uh, analyzed about before. 
So with only two personal fouls, I'm sorry, only two team fouls on the, on the, I'm sorry, three team fouls for Grant. They're going to have at least four more before we get into the bonus. So you got to start wondering if the coach is going to play the foul game. Uh, you don't want to, you don't want to overdo that, but you certainly don't want them to hold possession for the last 90 seconds of this ball game. Uh, so I like to see the coach, you know, do some pressure action and maybe even result to fouling if he has to. Well, let's see how this goes. We have one minute and 27 seconds left on the clock. Loyola 27, Grant Community 23, the fourth quarter. Inbound successful to Max Garcia. Red looking to throw two at the ball. Almost mishandled. We got the trap that they want to step through and the results in the foul. Another inbound situation. Grant looking to deny everything. Could have been the turnover there. Lazy pass by Alex almost gets away a, with it. Almost a minute left. Yes, as, as we anticipated, Bulldogs getting into the foul game. That's now five team fouls. We shoot one and one after seven. I'm sorry, that's 16 fouls. We got one more. Current score is Loyola 27, Grant 23, with one minute and six seconds on the clock here in the fourth quarter. And there it is. There's the jump ball that you want. Possession arrow Grant. And so this could make things really interesting here. If we're able to score here, it becomes a one possession ball game. Uh, and puts a lot of more pressure on the only. But first, we've got to get a basket. And knowing that, Coach Bosworth is going to take a timeout, talk to his guy, see what he can come up with. Tom the Plumber, Inc. is a family-owned and operated company committed to providing plumbing service and installations of the highest quality and craftsmanship. Tom the Plumber, honest and affordable. Visit Tom online at TomThePlumberInc.com. Sure, the guys at Tom the Plumber are hardworking guys, and uh, it's going to take a lot of hard work for Grant to get back in this game for sure. Um, but this possession is massive. If they can get a basket here, uh, that changes the course of the game. That puts a lot more pressure on, on Iola. The foul game, if you miss one, it becomes a one-possession game. If they were not able to make a basket here, I still anticipate the foul game to continue. But now you're talking about making free throws really could put this one away for yeah. Loyola. Uh, uh, currently, it's one minute and two seconds left on the clock uh, here in the fourth quarter mm -hmm. with uh, Loyola uh, 27, Grant 23. I always wondered if a basketball is ever going to hit that screen over there. What screen? The one in the middle. Anyways, it's irrelevant. <laughs> uh. Oh, the one on the board? Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're, they're designed to take a little hit. I hope. All right. Big possession coming up here for Grant. Inbounded by number 22, Chad. Into number 10, Carter K. Haven't heard from him in a while. Less Started off the game well. Less than a minute. Nice lazy pass recovered. We get to the lane and we score by Braylon Gray, big time basket, brings us within a two point ball game. 30 seconds left, strong foul there. And now we're in a position where we've got to make free throws in order to secure this game. Yeah. Uh, so that's a big time shot by, by uh, Braylon Gray. Let's see if uh, the best player on the floor tonight, Alex Ingro, is able to put this away with a couple of free throws, uh, extend this lead to four.
first one is good. That makes it a three-point game with 30 seconds left to go. 28-25. A main basket here is puts Grant back into a two-possession lead, and he makes both of them. Timeout by Coach Bosworth. Prince Clores, Loyola 29, Grant 25 with 31 point, so exactly 31 seconds uh, on the left on the clock here in the fourth quarter. So you're going to want a, a quick shot here, right? This is not something you want to delay and uh, oh, yeah. do anything long. You want to hit something big. You got to be quick with this. Like if you want, if you want to score uh, in 31 seconds. If you're, the, uh, if you're the one that's losing and you want to score in 31 seconds, you've got to be quick. So I'm guessing for Grant, uh, less dribbling and more passing. Yeah, yeah, I expect him to come up with something maybe even out on the, um, on the actual inbounds pass where it's a shot to themselves. Yeah, Grant still got a chance, but they have to be quick, like really quick on it. Then we're going to foul either way, right? Make or miss. This game is far from over, right? One of the things that you get from the mass timeouts provided by um, by the IHSA is that there's more time for you to keep your timeouts in your pocket. So both coaches have plenty of timeouts, lots of opportunity to talk to their teams over the last 30 seconds, and there's more basketball to be played here. Uh, forgive us for the graphic there. It says 27-25. The score is actually 29-25 in favor of Loyola. We'll get that fixed for you. Looks like we got that done. Sorry to the Grant fans who thought it was a two-point game, but there's still a chance. All right, so here we go. Ball taken out full court. So we're looking for some sort of pick and roll action, I'm sure. Maybe a double screen off the ball, but we'll see if we can't get a quick shot and get back in this game. Here we go. Tw just under 30 seconds. Intentional foul called, or not called, but taken there. A way to delay and make them have to run two things. 25.5 seconds left. Smart coaching there by Coach Tom Libertino. So not interested in giving up any threes. It looks like Coach Levitino is going to delay this game by fouling. He has now three fouls to give before they're in the bonus. It's a strategy you'll see taken at uh, a lot at the higher levels. You get any penetration, you foul. That way, uh, you know, they have to work to get the, 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 a good look. now they'll call the timeout by Loyola. This is when they're going to take that foul game off, let them know that you don't want to foul now. Uh, you don't want to get anywhere close to the bonus. That was not what this was about. It's more about taking time off the clock. So we had 32 seconds before. Now we're down to 20, and there's been no basket. So it's a smart way to delay the delay, if, if you will, um, for Loyola. Now, Grant, again, back to the same situation we were in before, Lucian. You're going to want to see them doing something quick from the out of bounds, looking to score right away. If they can get a basket here, we got ourselves a ball game. Yeah. This timeout is sponsored by Tom Com Plumber Inc., which is a family-owned and operated company committed to providing plumbing service and installation of the highest quality and craftsmanship. Tom the Plumber, honest and affordable. Visit Tom online at TomThePlumberInc.com or call the number on screen. Once again, you're watching the 2021 Hinkle Holiday Classic Tournament. Uh, we're in the second game, fourth quarter of the second game. We're 20, exactly 20 seconds left on the clock. With Loyola 29 and Grant 25. Grant has to be really, really quick on this if they want, it, if they want to get back. If they want to uh, bounce back. They have to be really, really quick. 20 seconds left in the game, 29-25, heading downhill. Thought he got fouled there. 
No call. That ball is loose on the ground, and possession Earl is in favor of Loyola. So, got a good look. Got downhill. Thought there was some contact on there, but referees are going to let the players decide. Foul on the front court. We're going back to the free throw line to really have a chance to ice this one away. I can hear Jeff Myers behind us doing his own play-by-play. -play. <laughs> Elgin Hall of Famer, Jeff Meyer. Him and Jeff, uh, him and Jim Hinkle will be doing the next two games after this. And that is a splash. Oh. Big, big free throw there by Alex Ingram. Just about will put this one away. He leads all scores with 12 points in this game. Now that one off. Eight seconds. Another foul given. That's their final foul to give. So with six seconds left, five-point game. Never want to say it's over, but we're going to need a three-pointer and a stop uh, right away. That three-pointer gets up and no good. That's an air ball. And with one second left, that will do it. Uh, we'll inbound this thing, and our final score will be 30 to 25. And that, and that concludes our game. Final. 30 to 25. Grant <laughs> loses to Loyola. Uh, congratulations to the Ramblers of Loyola. That was a good game. Lucian, it's been my pleasure working with yeah. you. I wish you the best as you continue yes. your, your growth and your learning. Uh, I want you to have fun with this game. Anytime you get a chance to be around uh, high school sports, it's a fun thing. Smile, enjoy it, and uh, hopefully I get to do this with you again sometime soon. Yeah, definitely. And that concludes this game. Jeff Myers and Jim Hinkle will be here for the uh, next two games, so stay with us. This sports broadcast made possible by contributions from the following. The Bear Family McDonald's, proud supporters of our community since 1967. Stop by one of their 30 area McDonald's restaurants today. Rosen Hyundai of Algonquin and Genesis of Algonquin. Looking for a brand new Hyundai or certified pre-owned? It's Rosen Express online buying made simple. Go to RosenHyundai.com or GenesisofAlgonquin.com. Tom the Plumber, service and installations of the highest quality and craftsmanship. Tom the Plumber, honest and affordable. Visit Tom online at TomThePlumberInc.com. And Daryl Barnes Photography for portraits, family and graduation photos, sports team photos, and more. Contact Daryl Barnes Photography at DarylBarnes.com.